with uh, we'll get to go with uh, what is in the channel What is Ether channel? Ether channel means now when I connect two PCs like this, two uh, two switches like this, What will happen when I connect like this? This is FA, FA 0 slash 1, FA 0 slash 2. FA 0 slash 2. What will happen when you connect like this? For example, this is switch 1. Aisha, tell me, when I connect like this, what will happen? Trunking, sir. Okay, become trunk port, okay. After that? Yeah. After that, uh, the ports can uh, send, the ports from switch 1 can communicate with the ports of switch 2. Yesterday we studied. Now what we studied yesterday, day before yesterday. Trunking VTP. Day before yesterday. Last topic. VLAN trunking and VTP, and then the server client and transparent mode. Last topic you are not attended. Yesterday's was STP, day before yesterday's was VTP, right? Yesterday was holiday, na? I mean, yeah, okay. Spanning STP. Last class was STP, right? Yes, yes. What STP will do? Okay. So, for example, this is root bridge. This will become what port? DP, designated port. Designated port. Yes. This will become a uh, root port. Okay. DP. Yeah. So, this, this is generally it happens when you connect like this without anything. Now, what is the uplink bandwidth now? For example, this is fast Ethernet, now. This is uplink bandwidth. What is the size of this uh, link? Fast Ethernet means you know Ethernet, fast Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet. So Ethernet means what is the bandwidth? Mm, I don't know, sir. Don't know? Okay. No. So gigabit means that means. Uh, Mbps. Fast Ethernet means 100 Mbps. Gigabit means 1000 Mbps. Okay, 
Now, what is the size will be there here? Farsi that means? 100 MPP. 100 MPP. So, uh, for example, uh, I want I want uh, 200 Mbps or 150 Mbps. What I will do? If I put another cable, what my STP will do is uh, how many cables I put, STP will keep on blocking. So I will not get more than 100 Mbps bandwidth between two switches. Uplink bandwidth will be 100 only. But if I want 150 Mbps, what I will do? Understand? Need. 150 Mbps. So, what we will do? The answer is Ether channel. So, what is Ether channel? Ether channel is bundling, bundling Ethernet ports and increase. So what will happen whenever I use this concept with the channel, I will bundle more than one Ethernet port. For example, I take these two ports. I will bundle it. Then I will create one virtual interface. The virtual interface is called port channel one. Or let me write it. Once I create this interface, virtual interface, okay, I will be in this port channel one. If you calculate and see, it will be like 200 Mbps. 200 or 300. How many ports you are connecting? Huh? That's it. No, actually he told me, but the time he didn't fix it. So I'm actually. In... Now, sir, today I'm actually now I'm in taking a class on class is going on. Till nine o'clock. So after nine will be free, but uh, can we take tomorrow or Monday? Because uh, now I'm continuing classes there. I'll finish it. Uh, Monday will take. Monday is fine for me. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Monday for sure. Monday will do it. No issues. Yeah. Yeah. So what we are trying to discuss is we are actually. Uh, You are able to understand what is Ether channel. Ether channel means bundling Ethernet ports yeah. and increasing uplink bandwidth. Yeah. Any question? Hello, sir. Sir Kumas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. I got, I got one question. My question is, uh, now uh, MBPS means, sir, uh, forwarding from uh, fast internet one to fast internet one, right? Zero one, zero one. From switch one to switch two, correct? Okay. What is the question? Uh, my question, sir. Uh, now I'm not understanding. Uh, 100 uh, Mbps for fast internet zero zero, as you write there in the corner. That is the bandwidth. And gigabyte. That is, that is a standard, standard. Standard, yes, standard okay. Value. You mean that, uh, you mean that switch one,
Fast Internet 01 RB is forwarding to 01 in switch 2, right? Mm -hmm. So how many? How much? How? 100 it will be only? Hello? Sir, uh, my question yeah. is uh, how much you will send from fast internet 1 to fast internet 1 in switch 2? Not sending. I am I'm saying the size of the link. I am not sending anything, Ali. I am just saying the size of the link is 100 MPS. You are able to understand the size. Like a road is there, na? 100 feet, 200 feet road, like that. able to understand this size of the link bandwidth means like for example you take a road you take a road right this is a road in this road what is the size of the road called bandwidth size of the road understand same way one van, one link you take what is the size of the link is mbps megabits per second Are you clear? Aisha, you are able to understand? I think Saif has joined, I think. Yeah, Saif has joined. So, yes. So, what is what is Ether channel? Ether channel means I am going to increase the bandwidth between two switches. When I connect multiple, uh, oh, multiple cables, what STP will do is STP will keep on blocking the keep on blocking the redundant links. So the bandwidth will not increase more than 100 Mbps. I want more bandwidth. I will use Ether channel. So what Ether channel will do? Ether channel will bundle that internet uh, Ethernet uh, bundle that ports and increase the bandwidth. Increase the bandwidth like 200 Mbps, 300 Mbps like that. When it bundles, now what it does is it creates one virtual interface called port channel 1. So this port channel 1 is used. When you go and see the port channel 1 bandwidth, it will be 200 Mbps or 300 Mbps. How many cables you connect according to that? I think uh, people all are understanding, right? So if everyone understanding, then I'll teach you the next topic. You yes, I'll go next. I said yes. What about uh, Ali? Okay, so I said yes. Okay. I think Ali also do, no doubt, right? Now we are going to configure. Ali, are you clear? Okay, let us start.
Okay, now I'm going to show you the configuration part. Now, when you want to configure uh, Ether channel, there are uh, three ways are there. So that I'm going to tell you. Ether channel. Okay. Yeah. The first, let us start. Now, let me write down the command. This is my command. So here I'm going to use one external command called range. So here when I give range, what happens is automatically it will configure in both the interfaces. It automatically configures in both the interfaces. That is range command. Okay, now what is the mode I am going to give? I gave, I just put fill in the blanks now. I keep the mode like this. So what mode I am going to give? According to that, it will select the type of ether channel. Now I'll write down three types of ether channel. First is static. Static means no, no protocol. Just as an administrator, I am going to configure it. I'm going to say ether channel. Second is PAGP. AGP is uh, port aggregation control protocol. Then uh, third is uh, LACP. Cisco. Fourth is uh, open standard. LACP with open standard. Now, how to configure this? Let us see one by one. Now, what I will give mode defines what type of ether channel I'm going to use. Okay. Now, for example, I say mode on. Here also on. Then what will happen? It will configure static ether channel. Static ether channel. Now one side will put. Uh, EAGP, right? One side I'll put desirable. Other side, auto. We will get the EAGP. Desirable means it will request. <laughs> request Join. Yes, yes, me. Sorry, sorry, sir. By wrong. Okay, by good. Mike, my yeah. So, desirable means uh, it is uh, sending the sending the request. Auto means accepting the request. So, desirable mode means what it will do? Desirable. Desirable or active. It does is send a request. For example, I want to become you want to become either channel or not like that. It will send a request. Uh, and this one active if I put pass. So it will receive pass you are auto means what? It will accept the request. Okay. It will accept the request. Clear? Okay, now there are three types of uh, ether channel is there. One is uh, static, second one is PHIP, third one is LACP. Static is without protocols. P 
PAGP is only for Cisco devices. If you have both switches of Cisco, then we can use PAGP. If one switch is Cisco, other switch is D-Link or something, then we can use LACP. Right? Okay. Uh, if you have any questions on this, ask me. Otherwise, give yes. I will go to next topic. Static is by default. Not default, madam. Nothing is default. We need to configure. When you are configuring, you can decide one, three of this. Which one you want? Sir, I have question. Can you hear me? Hello? I said clear, huh? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, tell me. Uh, for uh, configure, uh, I, I need to configure first uh, fast internet 01 in switch 1 to switch to fast internet 01, right? I need to configure interface range 01 to fast internet 02, channel group 1 model, because they are group, right? Yeah, one group. group so, uh, yeah, what do you mean by th these are then? These all are the modes. Ether channel modes. Yes. So auto, on, desirable, active, passive, like that modes are there. Based on what mode you select, according to that, it will select the type of ether channel. There are three types of ether channel is there static, EAGP, LAC. Okay. Right? First yes. one is static. Yes. Is on. Static. Second one is PAGP. PAGP, yes. Cisco. Third one is LAC. Okay. okay. So PAGP. The, this PAGP three model. Yes. Types, type, type. Port aggregation protocol. Aggregation protocol. What this means, protocol means. Is, what this protocol will do is it will automatically like desirable when you give right it is request the other side auto understood hmm? it will request yes sir so the other side will receive auto means to accept once you accept right it will become either channel but the condition is this, in this PAGP, right? Both must be Cisco. Both switch must be Cisco switches. We cannot use any other switches like dealing switch or any other company HP switch. It will not work. CP link aggregation control protocol. So this is open standard protocol LACP where we can give active mode active one side active one side passive if you give automatically it will okay, create the LACP and this is multi vendor any vendor you can put the both switches one switch can be HP one switch can be Cisco it will work LACP will work. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, see one more topic in this. Then we'll go for configuration. Now, whenever we configure this ether channel, there are two ways we can configure. Types, I said three. And we have two ways. Like, for example, switch to switch. Meaning, using MAC address, I will create something called a L2 Ether channel. L2 Ether channel. Router to router. Okay, router to router. I may use IP address. I need to configure IP address. This will be like L3 Ether channel. Outer to router also, I can increase the bandwidth. If I am less bandwidth, I can two three two three Ethernet ports, I can bundle it and I increase the bandwidth. So that time I'll use IP address and we call it as L3 Ether channel. So now we have an option of creating like uh, in L2, 
three if the channels are there ec uh, static l2 ec dynamic sorry pagp l2 ec lacp so three types same way we can do l3 also so six labs we can do actually now i'm not going to show you six labs i'm just going to show you only two labs because you can do all six labs and send it to me after that so i'm going to do two two labs the first lab will be like um, we we'll take uh, first uh, pagp l2 lacp l3 okay everybody draw the diagram i will show you the topology and the command you can draw it then i'll show you that okay everybody start drawing it this is static i want phgp yeah you can draw this diagram once you draw the diagram then uh, say yes we will start the class we will i'll start configuring very simple diagram and the commands also there and verification commands also there you can write down this i will show you one time this is the first lab i want to show you ether channel ph l2 ether channel phgp
so uh, once they are done can you just show me the previous slide once done yeah so but once everyone is done i just want to see the previous slide once not the slide means uh, the paint that you no, had written in the i put it in the group yeah so Because now I'm in between the online training going on, so the class is continuous, continuing. So that's why I'm thinking. Otherwise, I'm... Monday you try. Monday you update me when when is the when it will be happening. Please update me one. See. Yeah, yeah, we can do like that. So if you see, I have morning. Uh, morning is early morning is not possible. No, afternoon only possible, right? Yeah, so after four you can plan four to six or four to five. Four to five is best for me. So four o'clock I'll finish one class. So four to five you plan. So I can take four to five any time. Yeah, yeah. Four to five you plan and update me in WhatsApp or message me. If anything is there. Okay, I'll also get prepared for before that. I'll get ready for that. Yeah, yeah. I have actually prepared it, but uh, I was now seven thirty already, na. Mm. So it's almost late now. Yeah. After mm. nine, sir, it's too much late. Actually, from morning I'm teaching continuously. I'm tired also. See, from early morning nine o'clock I'm started teaching, na. I'll be a bit tired, so full continuous classes going on. So I will take Monday. Monday four to five you plan. Uh, I think it. Ah. Uh, ah, retail training only. I'll be in uh, GAT only. Yeah, comfort time is four to five. Any time. Uh huh. Ah, see the student will be there. So. Student in front of student, uh, we cannot stop the class. See, I have I have actually classes up to four. Okay, so up to four I have classes. Then I will leave from office and I'll come to home at uh, six six thirty. Then again seven to nine I have class. Yeah, the seven to nine is online now. I'm taking now this class. This is my schedule as of now. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hello. Yeah, everybody done, right? Start.
Now let us uh, configure this and see. First step is uh, Take two switches or below any switch two. Name first. Host W one. Now I'm going to show, see the uh, spanning tree. What it is doing? Show spanning tree. Now it is actually. Blocking my port number. Oh, yeah, yeah. I took wrong ports. No, supposed to take one and two. Port number one, two, one, two, two, two. two, two, two. Yeah, now. Spanning tree. Now the both are learning, listening is going on still. Still, it's learning, listening. So this guy also. Yeah. Now it is one is root forwarding, other one is blocking. So two is blocking. The first port, lowest port card, lowest port is my root port. Okay, now uh, STP is going to block like this. So whenever I put extra, how many cables I put, I keep on putting trees on the redundant links. That is the nature of STP. Now I'm going to, I'm going to review this. I'm going to, what do you say? I'm going to clear this. So my requirement is I need to increase the bandwidth. Now what is the bandwidth of FA 0 slash 1? Show interface. Bandwidth is 100 Mbps. Okay, full duplex 100 Mbps. Okay, now I need 150 Mbps or 200 Mbps. You can see here bandwidth is 100 Mbps in kilobit it is showing. Okay, now what we will do? We will actually create ether channel. So what you have, what is the command to create ether channel? Go to the interface and create interface range mode 1 to 2 and great group channel 1 mode desirable. One side is desirable, one side is auto. Moment I give desirable and auto, it will create PAGP. Let us see that. Now, first I am going to SW1, I will go first. Okay, I will configure uh, interface range. Slash one two FA zero slash two. Okay. Then I will give uh, channel group. Now we will make it model, right, sir? We will write model. Huh? Channel group. We will make it group now, right? Together. Next configuration, right? Yes. yes. 
channel yeah, channel group i am creating a group of uh, with a channel So channel group one mode. Yeah, see the modes. Which mode I'm going to take? I'm going to take desirable in one switch. Desirable. Okay. I'm going to switch two now. So in switch two, again same thing I'm going to do. Interface range FA0 slash one. Slash two ether cha, what is that channel group yeah. one mode so that said I gave desirable this said I have to give auto okay let me give auto so auto then now see there is a line protocol ether channel interface one changed up so there is it is created now interface called ether channel one virtual interface so let us check that. So how to check that? Show IP interface brief. So switch has 24 fast Ethernet ports, 2 gigabit port, 1 VLAN port, VLAN 1 port. Then last one is port channel 1 up, up. This is the Ether channel port. Now I uh, need to see the spanning tree. What happened? Now what spanning tree will do? Spanning tree is Remove two interfaces and made one interface for channel one. Right? We made one interface for channel one. So now it's still listening state. It may go to learning of listening, learning, and uh, now it is listening. Then it will go to learning. Yeah, now that's it. Now this is my one port now. According to spanning tree, it's not two ports. It become one port that is called port channel one. Now finally, what is the summary? Show ether channel summary. So this will show me what protocol I take and all the story you can see. Yeah. Now it says here uh, port channel one. Yes, capital yes. Capital yes means layer two. Then capital U. Capital U is in use. PAGP, then these all are the protocol is PAGP, and these are the ports are active in in protein channel. Okay, now this is finally what is the purpose of all these things? I will increase the bandwidth, right? So the command is show interface port channel one. One. Now how much I got? Three hundred Mbps. I got. 300 Mbps bandwidth. So this is my requirement. I increase the bandwidth now. Uh, everybody understood this, then I will show you next lab. If any doubt, you ask me. Okay, clear, clear. What about Ali? So we'll go to next lab now. The next lab is uh, same thing, but now this time I'm going to do uh, L3. So draw the diagram, same diagram only. The only difference is here I'm going to use uh, IP address. Last lab we never use, we didn't use any IP address. Here I'm going to create one e virtual interface and I'm going to give IP address to that. That's it. This is the one major difference. Okay, clear on this. Okay, 
want to write down this write down or uh, take a screenshot sir hello hello yes sir yeah tell me saif sir okay. is bore connection bore connection sir hello? okay okay bore okay. connection we cannot see anything Hello. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Sir, it's poor connection. Okay. It's poor connection, sir. Poor connection. Okay, Saif, you are saying something. Sir, in switch we can create uh, IP address, sir. In yeah, copy. but you have to give this command: no switch port. Okay. Then it will accept IP address. IP address, and that switch must be starting from three seven three five like this. The number must be starting from three. Okay. Switch layer must three. be a yeah, L three switch, layer three okay. switch. Understand? Okay. It's called multi-layer switch. So which can support L2 as well as L3 also, which we call multi-layer switch. Only that switches we can do this. Uh, this other ways you can take two routers and connect the two interfaces like this, like this, and you can do it here also. Okay, we can bundle it. So this is also possible, but instead of router, I'm taking a L3 switch. Okay, so we start this. Yeah, you want me? To, can I start configuring it? Sir, I'm not able to see. You log out and Hello, log in. Sir. You log out and log in one time, Malay. Please. Yeah. Can you log out and log in? Uh, command. Yeah. Any question? Uh, for create port channel interface after the IP address, it is end or exit command. Exit means it will go to global mode. Okay. Okay. End means end. directly. End will go to privilege mode. Directly privilege mode. Okay. There is one more command called end command or control Z. End or control Z. It will directly go to privilege mode. Uh -huh. That's why they are given end. Can you exit also? That is also okay. Okay. Yes, sir. So we'll start now. Saif will start configuring this. Okay. So I've said yes. We'll start. Now I'm going to do L3 with the channel LACP. Now here also we are going to follow. Sorry. I have to take a switcher. Two switchers. One is reverse. Okay, and the cable is uh, one and two.
okay next we will create the host name will configure One. Now first thing is I need to go and create IP address and give IP address uh, for this interface port channel 1. So interface port channel 1. Okay, then Then I will say IP address 192.168.10.1 255.255.255.0 Okay, then um, we need to create the same thing interface range FA0 slash 1 hyphen FA0 slash 2 no similar or similar something like yeah no switch port group same command channel group channel group one mode see for uh, this one uh, for uh, LACP one must be active one must be passive so I'll give this is active okay the other side will be passive let us go and do that other side the other side is uh, w2 so first I'll create that uh, port channel port channel Same thing, channel, channel group, one, mode, passive. Now the, let us check the ether channel is formed. So, uh, IP interface brief. Yeah, so more channel created, IP address is there. Next step. So, uh, spanning tree will not work here. So, it is channel seven. Yeah. Yeah. Here you see R. R means capital R. Kithara, layer three. R means layer three. U capital U capital U means in use. Okay. So this is the LACP. Clear on this. Any doubt in this? Ask me. If there's any doubt, I'll clear it out. Then we'll go to the next topic. Sir, if it's Cisco, it will be. Uh, if it's Cisco, it will be O2 and uh, and Bazit, right? What is that? Cisco? If it's Cisco, it's static and. Uh, there is, uh, in, 
LACB, right? LACB. Because what it is in part internet one and part internet two, right? Fast internet one, fast internet two. Yes. What is the question? My question now is it uh, L C B, right? Because yes, uh, yes. But, but this we mode and the uh, other is mode was active and passive. Active and passive, yes. Then so LAC. 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 LAC is coming in the configuration. Yeah. So. When you go desirable and auto, BAGB. Yeah, BAGB. B -A yes, yes. Okay, so we'll go next. Yeah, just you, yes, I'll go next. Yes, no router to router, right there? Yes, yeah. Our next topic is um, inter inter VLAN routing. So inter VLAN routing means I am going to create I am going to create uh, two VLANs, and by default, these two VLAN PCs cannot communicate, cannot ping to each other. So this to this is not possible to ping. So everybody draw this diagram and just give yes. Then I start the class. So by default. PC1 to PC2, pinging is not possible. But if I want to ping from PC1 to PC2, then I need a router. So what I will do, I will configure the default gateway of the PC as the sub interface IP address of the router sub interface. And I will use encapsulation dot one Q. So what will happen when the packet goes to the port number FA0-3, it will add VLAN 10 and go to the router. The router want to send to uh, VLAN 100. It will remove this tag and put 100 tag. OK, put 100 tag and send it in the same port. So it will come to 100 and it will go like this. You understand this? While it is coming, it is coming with the 10. And it, what router will do, router will remove the 10 tag and then put 100 tag and send it the same interface. Now the same interface will send it to FH0 slash 2, so the pinging will happen. So to do that, we are going to create something called sub interface in the router. Okay, so this is called a router on stick. Okay, ask me any questions, any doubts, then we'll start the lab. No doubts, just give yes, then I'll go to next. Uh, I'll configure and show you. Finish the diagram and uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask me or you can just tell me. I will configure. I'll just show you the lab one time. Yes, the Ramdan. Yeah, we'll start now. Just give yes, we'll start.
Yes, sir. Yeah, seeing our um, Aisha and uh, Saif. said okay okay let us start now concept what i'm going to do here one by one i'll copy this i'll keep it with me i'll configure and i'll check it out this is my concept one by one i'm going to do first i'm going to configure topology then i'm going to give host name then ip address then i'm create vlans and assign port to the vlans and configure trunk then last, I will create sub interfaces, encapsulate with that VLAN number, then configure IP addresses in the sub interfaces. Then I will ping from PC1 to PC2. Okay, this is my concept. What I'm going to try for this topology. Sir, the connection is bored. From me only? Hello, sir? Yes. Yes, tell me, uh, Ali. Hello, sir? Uh, tell me, Ali. The connection is poor, sir. I'm not missing proper. No problem. The phone no problem. is broken. No problem. You just wait. You just listen whatever possible way. After that, the recording will come. You can go through the recordings. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. No problem. It's getting recorded, right? Okay. Hello. Now, okay, uh, sir. Okay. Huh? Hello. Yeah, I hear you now. So now, what I am saying is, don't worry about the connection. The review, the class is getting recorded, right? After the class over, the recording will come to you. You can listen the recording. Okay. Okay, I'll take the configuration now. I say you're recording, right? Yeah, I say it's recording now. So we'll get the recording. I say after class we will Let us take the configuration now. We won't will do it. So what I was showing is this is my uh, configurations, uh, host name, IP address, VLAN creation. So everybody draw the diagram now. So you people know what is the topology. So I'll just write down here: SW1, PC1, PC2, PC1, PC2. Two pieces are there. Two 
pieces yeah two pieces this one piece two piece one is one dot two now take one router 1841 keep it here i'll convert that into r1 okay i'll connect the cable one two one two 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 then uh, three two router that's it now it's ready so then the route you see that is something like this the router is standing in a stick, look like that. No, it's standing in a stick. Let's say we call it router on stick. The name of the lab is called router on stick. I asked them, they said it looks like standing in a stick. Router on stick. Okay. Fine. So, what we are trying to do now is first we are going to create VLANs. So, to create VLANs, uh, first I'll, I'll give the Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. I think somebody has mic is on. Can you borrow the mic? Let's mute the mic. Yeah. So says W one. Saif, can you mute the mic? Sir, it's not mine, sir. Not sir, okay. Ali, Ali. I think Ali. Yeah, he muted now. Okay, so what I was telling is, um, I was, uh, yeah. So what I am supposed to do, I need to start with the host names then IP addresses. So let us configure IP address. So the IP address of PC1 is uh, 1.2. IP address, IP config 192.168.1.2. Default will be 1.1. Command prompt 1.1. PC2. Desktop 192.168.2.2 then 2.1 okay command prompt okay then uh, okay then what I need to do is uh, IP address configure then configure VLANs. So two VLANs are there. Name of the VLANs are VLAN 10 sales, VLAN 100 HR. Let us do that. So how to create VLANs? VLAN 10 name, name sales, VLAN 100 name. Now I created two VLANs, then assign the ports to the VLAN. Interface FA0 slash 1, switch port mode access. Port access, uh, switch port access VLAN 10. Interface 2, switch port mode access, switch port mode access VLAN 100. Then exit. The third interface is uh, three. Then the trunk port. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q. Switch port mode trunk. That's it. Ready. Now all three interfaces are configured. Then I'll go to router now. In router, I am going to configure uh, sub interfaces. So no. Enable configure key interface. Sorry, first host name. R1. R1, uh, yeah, interface FA 0 slash 0 dot 10. This is sub interface. I created. So config hyphen sub if sub interface. Now I'm going to give encapsulation dot 1Q 10. Okay, IP address. 
Plus 192.168.1.1. This is the default gateway for VLAN 10 PCs. This is the IP address. 1.1. That's it. Exit. Then I'll go to another interface. I'll create one more sub interface. 100. And I will do encapsulation also 100. Tag 100. IP address is 2.1. Now the last concept is once I configure this. I need to go to main interface and I have to say no shut. Then only the link will come up. Yeah, so all the links are up. Now the color is changing to orange. So it takes some 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Now till that we'll wait. 2 .2. it become orange it will take time because the STP is running yeah now become green so may take one packet then start pinging okay. yeah now started pinging okay so ask me you have any doubts anybody have any doubts Aisha, yes. Tell me if you no doubts, do yes, go next. No doubt, sir. Okay. About Saif. Yes. Both of you do yes. Continue. Sir, the hmm. router we created for one interface, we created two sub interfaces. Yes. So main interface is uh, router. Nah. Interface. I'll, show you. I'll show you. See. Uh, end command. So I saw no ND command, see ND command. The ND command will bring me to privilege mode directly. Then I type show IP interface brief. So see now, this is my main interface. Okay. I in the main interface I created two sub interfaces. Okay. Okay. Do yes, I'll go to next topic. Both of you. So why did you ping? Oh, okay, you ping the. Okay, got it. Yeah, tell me. No, me. got it, sir. You got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay, fine. We'll continue now. So next topic is same same interval land, but I'm not going to use router this. Not using router this time. I'm going to convert the router into a L3 switch. So see here. Uh, yeah, this is the configuration. Now, same topology, same concept, but instead of router, this time I'm going to use a L3 switch. Okay. In the L3 switch, I'm going to say IP routing. I'm enabling routing in the switch. Then, same thing. Instead of, instead of, uh, Sub interfaces here. I'm creating SVA. SVA means switch virtual interfaces. So this is the IP address, and this is the IP address. Okay. I think uh, you're able to understand this. Can I configure and show you? In theory, any doubt? Instead of router, we are putting using an L3 switch. We are enabling routing in the L3 switch. Then we are creating two sub two SVIs. Excuse me, sir. Mean uh, in the switch you will configure uh, IP router, right? Yes. See, this in is the switch. Inside switch, I am creating a router. Understand? I am enabling a routing service. So that's why we call multi-layer switch. It can do L3, L2, both. Got it? Okay, any doubt? Okay, you yes, we'll, we'll start the configuration. 
Yeah. Sir, copying the topology two minutes. You are writing the topology? Yes, sir. Okay, right, right. Sir, I have question in switch configuration. Tell me. Sw switch to switch. Yeah, tell me. Uh, when we create, uh, so in router to router, always we create a VLAN, right? But in switch to switch, we need to create a group model channel, right? Correct, sir. That's what I understand. What the question is, I mean, switch to switch when we configure. From switch to switch. Is not a lab. Yes, uh, when we configure fast internet, now we'll enter the channel group model. Uh, uh, one. That is, that, is, that is ether channel. Yes, sir. Okay. Not router. Okay. 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 First is switch. switch to switch. Switch to switch is called a L2 ether channel. There we don't use any IP address. Second type of ether channel is L3 ether channel. There we use IP address. There router comes, routing. So router is there means router will have IP address. Now if I'm configuring in a L3 switch, then we have to give no switch port and we have to use that create IP addresses. That is L3 ether channel. This is uh, what we are studying now is uh, interval and routing. How do you communicate different VLAN PCs? Uh, everybody done means give yes. I'll, I'll configure and show you. So uh, I said done. Yes, uh, Saif, you are done. Can I start? Ali, clear. Everybody clear? Can we start? So you said yes. Okay. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. okay, we'll start now. The last lab is. I am going to. I am going to remove the router. I remove the router. This is called L3 switching. Here I am going to use not router. I am going to use route switch. L3. Now, uh, okay. Fine. What we are going to do is very simple. We are going to just enabling routing first, IP routing. Then I'll create two with, with SVIs, VLAN 10. IP address, default gateway IP address for VLAN 10 PCs, 10.1.1.255.255.255.0. No search, it's not okay. Give it no issues. VLAN 100, then IP address 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 2.2.1, 
request time dot request time dot yes started pinging correct okay started pinging so this is called the l3 switching in l3 switching what we did we just created enabled the uh, what we did is we just enabled the uh, yeah we just enabled ip routing then we created two svs that's it we did nothing else clear now any doubt Uh, Aisha, no, safe, clear, okay, fine. Let us go to the last topic today. Theory, what is act? What is clear, sir. Ah, okay. So, what is stack wise? I'm going to teach you. So, stack wise is a technology. Stack wise, uh, the, the concept now, what we are going to study is. Uh, stack wise means i am going to take uh, i'll take some diagram from internet so to be easy to understand to explain you cisco stackable stack wise stack wise stack wise okay okay hmm. may just may just yeah i take this so this is nice now what i am going to do i am going to show you one um, copy this yeah so here if you see what i created is on small uh, stackable stacks of stack wise stackable switches we say okay what happens in this is we have four switches here one two three four so if you want to configure these four switches manually you need to give every switch SW1, SW2, like that. You'll create four switches. And four switches, you give four IP addresses. Then you tell that to every, IP, every switch and you create, maintain that IP addressing. Instead of that, what Cisco said is, instead of doing like this, this is for access switches. Access layer, remember, right? Poor distribution access. Access layer. What they said is, instead of creating like every switch on IP address and login and configuring, you can bundle it as a single switch. Once you configure like this, he will become master. Rest all become slaves. He is the master. The IP address, the port will be like this. Yes, uh, FA 0 slash 0 slash 1. First switch. Second switch will be like this. FA. 0 slash 1 slash 1. Then third switch will be like this. FA 0 slash 2 slash 1. Up to 24 or 48, whatever port size. Okay. FA 2 slash. It becomes a slot. 4, 3 slots, extra slots like that. It will become. And it will be easy to manage. Will only one IP address will be there. So management IP will be only one management IP. And it is very easy to manage. For example, 10.2, something like that, 1.2, like that. This is my management IP, switch management IP. And easy to manage. So you're able to understand this. What is stack wise? This is called stack, stackable switches or stack wise model, stack wise technology. This is very useful when you're managing the switches. Any question in this? If yes, then I'll go to next topic. Okay, so I've said yes. I saw also okay. Let us go to next. Ali also I think okay. So let us go to next. And uh, the next topic is. Uh, 
yeah the next topic yeah even ali said yes good so next topic is uh, chassis aggregation this is access switch right for core and distribution and uh, let us take this part mm, let me put up mm, what is the name of that is called it chasis aggregation okay what is chasis aggregation is i will take big core switches and i will bundle that as a single single switch Okay, let me take some diagram where you can understand. Okay. Yeah. So physically, physically, it is actually two sutures. Let me copy this image. physically it is a it is a two switches but after this uh, aggregated happen no it look like a single switch but physically if you see it will be like two switches like this this is mainly for core and distribution level switches chassis based switches So physically two switches, but virtually you look like a single switch. Understand? This is physical topology. This is logical topology. Physical topology. Physically two switches, logically aggregated and make as a single switch. So according to the customer, according to the access layer, uh, they see as a single switch. Only one IP address is there. Only one device is there. Multiple power, multiple slots are there. But real time, if you go and see the data center, you have two, two physical switches. I think you are understanding this. This is called what? Chasis aggregation. Chasis aggregation. This is mainly for core and distribution layer level switches. We have VSS, virtual switch. Uh, there are so many different topics are there. I am just giving the name. What is given in the Cisco? Chasis aggregation. Okay. So, any doubt in this? So, if we no doubt, we can wind up today class. We can have Monday. Monday, we are starting routing. Okay. Monday from Monday, we'll be having full next full week, we'll be routing. So, we'll complete routing next week. Okay. So, I think uh, everybody is clear. No doubts. Okay. So, we can wind up today. Any doubts, you can uh, message me or uh, WhatsApp me, we can discuss. Okay, fine. So, thanks guys. Thanks for uh, listening and uh, happy weekend. See you on Monday. Good night.